My name is uh, Luanga Mbeche Karoli. I'm the Chief Executive Officer at Kimisi to SACO. SACO was formed uh, 36 years ago, and that is uh, in 1985, uh, with the main goal of uh, mobilizing savings uh, from uh, the members and also granting the members uh, affordable loans for their personal development and uh, growth. We have achieved a lot uh, since then and uh, uh, coming uh, down to year 2020, uh, we have uh, managed uh, in terms of performance to grow or rather we have uh, on all our financial parameters, uh, we have grown on our asset base which we grew by 11%. Uh, we have grown on our members' deposits, again, which we grew by 11%. Our, our loan book, we've grown our loan book, and uh, we've also grown uh, in terms of our turnover, uh, which grew at 11%. percent we also grown our membership, uh, which again was at 10.6%, and uh, currently we have uh, over 8,000 active members. So in the year 2020, uh, it was a year of uh, many first and also the challenges that we had. In the same year, despite the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, we were able uh, to launch our FOSA. Uh, we, were, uh, we were licensed in the year 2020 by SASRA uh, to be a deposit taking circle. We are among the top uh, deposit take circles with over 5 billion in terms of the asset base. Our asset base uh, in the year 2020 uh, stands at 7.66 billion uh, Kenya shillings. Now uh, we have as a circle we have also uh, registered uh, Kimisitu Insurance Agency and uh, this is helping our members in terms of the ins their insurance needs and also the organization in terms of its insurance needs. In year 2020 again, uh, we were able, uh, we were awarded uh, International Organization for Standardization, uh, ISO 9001, uh, 2015. And uh, this means uh, that uh, we have adopted quality management uh, principles Again, focusing on the members, effective uh, leadership, and also engaging our stakeholders and uh, also continuous improvement in terms of our processes, in terms of our business processes. I also mentioned that we were awarded uh, the FOSA license to operate uh, deposit taking, uh, which already we launched in the month of uh, December, and currently we have our members registered in the FOSA and where we are providing various savings products and also we are providing loan products. We have accelerated our digitization process, especially when during COVID, uh, whereby we are able, our members are able to apply for their, all their loans online. Uh, we are able to do our members' registration online. We are able to do our payment processes online. And again, this is self-service uh, to the members, which actually has also improved our service delivery. Again, uh, we have uh, finalized uh, the development of our strategic plan. Uh, we finalized last year, uh, development of our strategic plan, 2020, 2021-2023, of which we have uh, five uh, thematic areas. And of course, we have the targets uh, that we have as a strategic plan. Uh, again, five of them, where we want to be mid-tire, uh, deposit-taking circle by 2023 we want to achieve a turnover of at least uh, 1.5 billion annually uh, we're looking into growing our active membership to 14,000 uh, active members uh, we want to the talk of top of the mind awareness uh, circle uh, by 2023 and again to build our brand uh, we, we we are in the process of uh, uh, finalizing the, uh, or uh, tabling the proposal to the members to approve the formation of Kimisitu Foundation that will actually help us in terms of our brand visibility and also be able to uh, give value, additional value to the members. So again, the same year, uh, despite uh, the pandemic, we were able to move to our new offices 
at AEA Plaza and uh, we are able to basically use our cash reserves without taking any external borrowing uh, to be able uh, to purchase and uh, move in, fit in and move into our new building. So in terms of uh, our year uh, 2021 focus, uh, I had mentioned that uh, already uh, we are implementing our study plan 2021-2023 and uh, the management focus that we have in 2021 one is the customer delight uh, where we want to focus on excellent customer service experience and again i'd mentioned that uh, we are promoting self-service automation so that our members are able to make their or do their transaction at any time uh, they wish at their convenience uh, we were looking again into the membership uh, impact, uh, membership growth and impact, uh, where I had mentioned that we have over 8,000 active members and we want to grow it to uh, 14,000 active members. And every year we are looking into growing at least 2,000 active members to be able to achieve our strategy. So again, uh, we are very keen on innovation and technological advances. Uh, uh, to date, uh, we have our own call center in our call center uh, to support our customer service. Uh, we have electronic data management system that we've implemented and uh, we are moving into paperless, we're moving into paperless office. So uh, again, we are actually coming up with a mobile app, our own mobile app uh, in the new course and also internet banking uh, to support our, our payment systems uh, from FOSA, from the FOSA department. So again, uh, in terms of uh, the revenue growth, uh, we are focusing more on revenue. We want to build uh, our revenue and uh, make wealth uh, to our members. And uh, we are hitting, we, we are in year 2020, we, we had uh, revenue, so 886 million. And uh, the year 2021, we are targeting uh, uh, to hit a billion mark, which is 1 billion and 95. Million. We have uh, a very interesting uh, products and services uh, for our members. Uh, I'll mention um, uh, a few interesting products that we actually have. Uh, we have Makawalisi, and uh, Makawalisi, uh, we believe, is uh, going to add uh, a lot of value to our members. Our members will be able to own homes, residential houses and they're actually able to build their commercial uh, houses. So Makawalisi uh, is repairable at tw 12 years and also 15 years. So for the residential it's uh, 12 years and then for the commercial it's uh, 15 years. And we have a very friendly interest rate which is 1% per month and that is 12% per annum. So. Uh, what this means is that uh, comparatively in the market, we are the best in providing this service. We finance up to 105%. Uh, so you don't have to need to worry about the valuation cost. You don't need to worry about the legal cost. They'll be part and parcel of the product that we are, we are offering. Another interesting product that we have is a shoulder of solace, whereby uh, we have offering our members a shoulder uh, to lean on in case they are bereaved. Uh, the product, uh, uh, we give claims between 100,000 to 500,000 and members need to pay a very minimal amount from 3,100 to 15,000 depending on the amount of the claim that they want and this is paid annually. So it's a very good product for our members and uh, ensure that when our members are bereaved or are, uh, are mourning, uh, at least their financial, we take care of their financial, uh, the financial bit. So other than that, we have, we have several products, we have premium loan, we have development loan, we have uh, products that are suited to our members' needs, which uh, we keep on reviewing, we get feedback from our members to get to understand uh, what they need and uh, we actually tell them make this product uh, so that they can actually be able to support their needs. We also moving to, I had mentioned about the mobile app, so we are moving into an angle uh, whereby uh, members will be able to apply for their loans uh, without any paper, any paperwork. They'll actually be able to apply for personal loans, they'll be able to apply for emergency loans, 
and we are looking into uh, pushing the margin, uh, the limit in terms of what can be gotten from uh, the mobile app. And given that we are forced also, it's very easy for members to be able to put the money uh, to their phones or transfer the money to their banks or any payment system that they may need to make. So uh, lastly, uh, I would actually want to, to urge our members uh, to keep on uh, saving, keep their accounts active, uh, patronize the products that we have, both FOSA products and uh, BOSA products, so that we can be able to grow our circle together. I will conclude by what I said when I started uh, in terms of uh, our future outlook, how it looks like. Uh, we want to grow our revenues uh, to 1.5 billion uh, in the next three years. We want to be a mid Taiwan circle. We want to have a total asset base of uh, 12.5 billion in, by year 2023. And then we want to be top of the mind circle, uh, top of the mind awareness circle. And finally, we want to have 14,000 active members by 2023. Thank you. And may God bless Kimisitu Sako.